Hello, hello, hello. Happy birthday to the April 18th babies out there. Also, happy birthday to the April 17th babies out there as well. I know I was not able to do a card of the day for the 17th. I hope you all do forgive me. Uh, but we're going to connect here and see what messages are coming up for the next 24 hours from whenever you happen to catch this video, okay? Maybe you're not gonna see it on the 18th. Maybe you're gonna see it on a different day. Maybe depending on what part of the world you live in, it's not the 18th today, even though it's the 18th for me, where I am. So it's just basically the next 24 hours. And we're gonna see what message is coming up here for everyone. And those of you who are interested, stick around for a message at the end about the weekly forecasts. Those of you who know I do weekly forecasts on the channel. Alrighty, my dears. So, the card that we have coming up is the Page of Wands. And the Page of Wands is really positive energy. It's very ambitious. It's very driven. It's very passionate. It's very optimistic. Sometimes this card can come up when we're feeling really inspired really driven, really excited about the future. Um, sometimes I see this come up. Uh, well, traditionally speaking, I will say traditionally speaking, the Page of Wands can be a younger or youthful fire sign person, a Leo, a Sagittarius, or an Aries, right? Um, uh, and so some of you could be dealing with a younger fire sign person, or if you have fire sign placements, you might be really feeling that fire energy right now. But, okay, uh, you guys who are new to the channel, I try to focus on you and your journey and less on other people. Okay, I just got a really interesting message here. Obviously, it's not going to be for every single one of you. But I do feel some of you have been feeling like compared to a sibling. Even if you're an adult, even if you're a middle-aged adult, some of you may feel like your whole life you've been in the shadow of this sibling, like you're not measuring up and they're so successful and they have it together and, you know, what are you doing with your life kind of thing. And so I feel some of you are finally coming into a time where you're going to be able to escape being under that shadow or, or feeling compared to this person. For some of you, you're the one doing it yourself and you're going to break out of that. Or even if other people are making you feel like you should compare yourself to them, you're breaking, you're breaking out of this. This is a very specific message. Uh, so that part might not be for every single one of you, obviously, but I feel some of you are breaking out from feeling like inferior to this sibling or not as good as this sibling and realizing your strengths and your gifts and maybe even realizing more effective or more efficient ways of applying your strengths and your gifts to where you're getting better results. You're, 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 you're making better progress because of this efficiency or this logic that you're bringing into how you're moving forward with your plans. Now, the Page of Wands, some of you who have been watching my readings for a long time, you've heard me say that the Page of Wands comes up for me in my readings sometimes when the person I'm reading for is coming into what I refer to as a second adolescence, right? When we're, two, when, when, when we're teenagers, there's like two modes to teenager, right? There's the depressed emo, lock yourself up in your room, listen to your sad songs, hate the world, hate yourself, uh, mood swing. <laughs> and then there's the other end of the spectrum where we're feeling very enthusiastic about life and we're feeling very excited and we're coming into an understanding of who we are and how we're choosing to dress and act and talk and how we're choosing to express ourselves and figuring out what clique we fit in with or what group we identify with. And so there's like this sense of like discovering your identity, right? Like this is who I am. This is what I'm putting out into the world. 
these are my dreams these are my ambitions i'm gonna go for it i'm gonna grab the world by the tail and put it in my pocket you know there's this optimism there's this enthusiasm before life comes in and kicks us around and we get discouraged right so when i see the page of wands it's like you're having that kind of second adolescence where you're redefining yourself like you're figuring out who you are, your identity, how you're expressing yourself in the world. Some of you may be giving yourself like a big makeover right now. You're like, I want my image to reflect who I am as a person and, you know, what I have to offer and, you know, what my style is. And so some of you might be putting together an outward image to try to match who you are on the inside to kind of portray that as you're moving through the world and a lot of you might be feeling very ambitious and very inspired right now like this is what I'm going for this is what I'm doing some of you have been on that path of following your dream and I feel like the page of wands for those of you that you've been on that path for quite some time is finding a renewed love for it you might be encountering somebody who's inspiring you again, like somebody who's a muse for you in some way. That's like inspiring you or lighting that fire again. But this time around, I also feel like you're aware of that impulsive energy and you're harnessing it better, right? You're learning from the past and your past mistakes. And instead of just going in just willy-nilly like a feather in the wind being blown around, you're figuring out how you're going to apply these gifts and talents and how you're going to, uh, uh, you know, pursue them in a way that's going to bring you stability, security, and abundance, okay? Um, uh, for example, a lot of the times we try to find success within our circle or within our friends, right? And some of you have heard me say this before in other readings. You know, you might start posting on your social media. Hey, you know, I'm selling such and such product or whatever. And you try to let your friends and family know and you hope that they're going to buy from you. Or back when I was doing stand-up comedy, uh, just, just as a hobby, I was never trying to like be a professional comedian or anything. But I had a lot of other friends that did comedy. So my whole Facebook was just a bunch of comedians. And all you would see in the newsfeed was come to my show, come to my show, come to my show. Right. So if you're doing something creative or whatever, you might be trying to get friends or family to show up or to uh, to support your gigs or to uh, get you to perform, you know, for them or whatever. And so you, a lot of you have heard me say this. It's, I, I'm not going to say it's impossible, but it's really difficult to build success in our business, like to build success on our friends and family. It's when we break out of that circle that we really start to get in a lot of work or we really start to get in the level of business that we need Um to uh to to succeed so um or to be self-employed or to you know generate th this income and so the page of wands to me is like i feel in this instance a lot of you are beginning to understand that and you're you're getting better about how to go about like where to uh advertise yourself and i don't mean advertise yourself like putting up a billboard right um, you, you might be getting more serious. Like for example, maybe you're a creative person and you do some kind of writing, whether you're writing movies or screenplays or books or music or whatever it might be, you might be getting more efficient about who can I show this to? How can I get my foot in the door? How can I, um, you know, present this to somebody or, or who can I submit this to, right? Like some of you are getting more serious about putting your work out there where it counts versus, you know, come to my show, you know, buy a ticket to my show or, um, hey, everybody check out this uh, link to, to this new thing I created, right? Instead of putting it out there socially, you're like, well, who are the decision makers? Who are the buyers? Who are the producers? Who are the publishers? 
I'm going to get my work in their hands. And so I feel like a lot of you are becoming more efficient on how you're applying your gifts and your talents or how you're putting yourself out there into the world. Okay. Now, um, normally I would see me want to check out your weekly forecasts. I do apologize, guys. I had some emergencies come up this weekend and I got hit pretty hard uh, with this full moon energy, this full moon cycle, taxes, a lot piled up on me. And I'm very sensitive to energy and I'm very sensitive to burnout. You guys, I'm sure you've seen, I, it's not that I try to be a fickle person. I don't want to be fickle. I don't want to let anybody down, but I burn out very easily very very easily and a lot of you tell me oh my gosh I've been watching your videos for a long time and I feel like you're talking exactly to me or you're picking up on what's going on in my life and most of you that I read for you guys are repeats you guys you know come back and you say you know and I'm not trying to brag or anything but like a lot of you are like you've been so accurate with my situation it's because I'm very sensitive to energy and the downside of that is I get burned out very easily. So I don't have weekly forecasts for this week. I will do a card of the day for each day. I will get the weekly forecasts for next week up early. I promise you this. And I'm almost done with the love readings for May. And those will be coming up um, uh, Monday and Tuesday. And then Wednesday, I'll have the weekly forecasts for next week. I will have a card of the day. For each day this week, I ask that you guys forgive me for not having weekly forecasts this week, uh, but I don't want to give you guys crappy readings. I don't want to give you guys half-assed readings, and so when I get burned out, I need to rest. I don't want to give you guys bottom-of-the-barrel energy, and I appreciate you, those of you who are understanding of that and, and uh, who, are, who are patient <laughs> with me. So thank you guys for watching, liking, sharing, commenting, subscribing. I hope you will have a wonderful day. Um, again, happy birthday to the April 17th and April 18th babies. And I hope that um, you all feel this Page of Wands energy. Uh, and feel that boost and feel that charge and hopefully I'll be feeling it too after I get a little bit more rest thanks guys for watching take care